Hey folks, before I begin this pricing game recap for Friday, there is something I need to correct Mr. Horgan on from earlier in the week. And that involves the prize given away in flip-flop from Wednesday's show. Mr. Horgan had said the prize was a little guy sh shadow silver highline teardown trailer. And that is not correct. I advised him what it actually was, and he corrected himself in yesterday's recap, but he was yet again wrong, saying a tear drop trailer. In actuality, the prize was a little guy's silver, silver sh shadow, a little guy's silver highline sh shadow, something like that, tear drop trailer. So, for Mr. Horgan, I have a little present for him. So, I, th I just wanted to bring that up. I will now step aside for the disclaimer. The opinions expressed by Neil Rocks 87 towards the contestants on The Price is Right and their decision makings and pricing games that can be categorized as either stupid or misleading by the audience, as one of the showing favoritism is portrayed as a heel characteristic for entertainment purposes only. In actuality, Neil Rocks 87 isn't prejudiced against the contestant based on their sex, their admissity, or their intelligence. And now it's time for the Price is Right pricing game recap for Friday, February 10th, 2012. Pricing games that ended the week were the following. Most Expensive, Cliffhangers, One Away, Balance Game, Stack the Deck, and Switch. Robin was our first contestant. She played Most Expensive for a Samsung 59-inch Plasma HD TV modeled by Gorgeous Gwendolyn. A Sofa Company's Charles Sofa modeled by Rachel. Ravishing Rachel, that is and a stainless steel popcorn cart modeled by Marvelous Manuela. Robin chose the popcorn cart as the most expensive prize. And honestly, that's what I thought it was too. I felt pretty good on this. So, Gwendolyn revealed the price of the TV to be $2,599. Very, very familiar price. Rachel revealed the price of the sofa to be $1,195. Also a familiar price. So the the price of the popcorn cart had to be more than $2,599 in order for Robin to win all three prizes. And when Manuela revealed the price, it turned out that it was $3,334... No, wait. $3,344. Robin won all three prizes for a total of $7,138. Linda, who was celebrating her 50th anniversary, played cliffhangers for an outfit for every occasion, which included for evenings a, an ABS party dress with Brian Atwood pumps, for a more casual look, a mini skirt, denim shirt, and ankle boots, for a casual daytime look, a sundress paired with Prada sandals. For work, a floral blouse paired with a blazer, a pair of pants, or as they said, trousers. And Christian Louboutin shoes. And for date night, a DVS tank dress with Ella Tahari Flats, all modeled by Rachel, valued at $6,331. If you ask me, I would have rather just had a pool table. Gwendolyn was uh, in charge of the small prizes, which were a set of 18 app magnets, a 3-cup food processor, and a frozen pop maker. For the magnets, Linda believed they were $21. They were not $21. The only guy went up five steps. They were $16, as Gwendolyn reviewed the absolute retail price. I knew that one. 
The food processor Linda believed was $27. You ask me, I thought she was a little off on this one. A little too far off, I should say. The only guy went up 13 steps. He was now up to the 18th step. The actual retail price was $40. So for the frozen pot maker, she believed it was $45. She cannot miss it by more than $7 either way. So the only guy went up because the sorry is climb up the mountain because that was not the correct price. He went up to the 19th step, he went up to the 20th step, he went up to the 21st step, the 22nd. 21st step, the 22nd step, and at the 23rd step, he stopped! Linda became a winner! Monique played one away for a Ford Focus S modeled by Man... not modeled by Manuela, modeled by Gwendolyn. My apologies. Manuela was in charge of turning the numbers. She changed the 2 to a 1, the 7 to a 6, the 5 to a 6, the second 5 to a 4, and the 8 to the 9, making a new price of 16649 So, when it came time to ask the almighty sound effects later, she had, had a number right. She did have the first number, or she had one number right. She heard a car honk. When she asked the almighty sound effects later, she had two numbers right. She heard another car honk. When she asked the almighty sound effects later, she had three numbers right. She heard another car honk. When she asked the Almighty Sound Fix Lady if she had four numbers right, she had to change two numbers. She changed the first six to an eight and the four to a six, making the new price of $18,669. If you ask me, I didn't like that number or that price. So, when it came time to reveal the numbers, was the first number a one? Of course it was. Was the second number indeed an 8? Yes, it was. Was the third number a 6? Yes, it was. Was the fourth number a 6? No, it was a 4. The actual retail price was 18647 Sarah played balance game for a Great Lakes GL4 spa modeled by a bikini clad Manuela. Drew gave her the free bag of $350 and Sarah chose the $2,000 bag and the $4,000 bag making a price of $6,350. And when superhero Rachel, who was recently bit by a radioactive spider, <laughs> Place the bag on the scales. The scales didn't balance. The actual retail price was $5,350. Sarah should have chose the $2,000 and $3,000 bags. I knew that choice. Kathleen, a video blogger, I gotta stop right here. I actually found out about Kathleen appearing on Price is Right yesterday on, via GoldenRoad.net. It turns out she's a pretty big, uh, her, both her and her boyfriend are pretty big uh, stars on YouTube. So, uh, so I'll, I'll post a link to the thread on GoldenRoad.net down there in the video description. Anyway, Kathleen played uh, Stack the Deck for a Chevrolet Colorado work truck modeled by Manuela. Rachel assisted with the numbers. So for the first pair of grocery items, she believed the price of $2.49 belonged to the Hidden Valley Ranch dressing and not the Sunsweet One, Sunsweet, Sunsweet Plum Amazons. Mm -mm. That belong now the actual price of the ranch dressing was three seventy nine. I think we all knew that one. So no no free number for her there. 
So for her second pair of grocery items, uh, she believed the price of $2.99 belonged to the Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese and not the Francesco Rinaldi pasta sauce. And she was right. Kathleen chose the third number, which was three. And uh, for her third uh, for her third pair of grocery items, she believed the price of five dollars and forty nine cents belonged to the Valvoline brake fluid and not the Wink cooktop cleaner. Mm -mm. The, that brake fluid was three ninety nine. So she only got one number, and that was the middle number, which was three. So for her first number, she chose one. The second digit she chose seven honestly I thought she should have chose eight the she the fourth number she placed as six and the fifth number she placed as eight making a price of seventeen thousand three hundred sixty eight dollars and when Drew revealed the actual retail price it was nineteen thousand three sixty four I really wanted her to win that. Too bad. She's a pretty girl. Tyler played Switch for a trip to Austin, Texas, modeled by Gwendolyn, and a trip to Boston, Massachusetts, modeled by Rachel. Tyler decided to not switch the prices, leaving the price of the trip to Texas at $5,030 and leaving the trip at Boston at $6,097. Well, when great, I just combined two names there, Rachel. <laughs> A little mishap by me there. I'm not editing that. When Gwendolyn and Rachel revealed the prices, it turned out that Tyler should have switched them. <laughs> So two pricing games were won today, and that were those were most expensive and cliffhangers. Plus, we gave away a total of two thousand dollars in cash. One thousand won by Sarah, and one thousand won by Tyler, both in the second showcase showdown. The MVPs of the Price Is Right go to Robin and Linda for their pricing game wins, and contestant recognition goes to Monique for her showcase win, which included an outdoor canopy bed. A trip to Van and trips to Vancouver, British Columbia, and, tri and a trip to New Zealand. She only missed it by a, by uh, one thousand six hundred eighty-one dollars. She bid twenty thousand dollars on her showcase. Pretty good. This pricing game recap is brought to you by Little Debbie Be My Valentine Snack Cakes. So, Mr. Horgan will be back on Monday for the pricing game recap. Also, another uh, another piece of info about Monday is this Monday will be Price is Right model Rachel Reynolds' two year wedding anniversary to her husband, former baseball player David DeLucci. So, I don't know if any of you follow her on Twitter at all. If you do, Send her something nice this weekend. I'm sure she'll love to hear hear from you. So, uh, her Twitter name is at Rachel One Reynolds. So that wraps it up for me. Like I said, Mr. Hogan will be back on Monday to continue the pricing game recaps for next week. Until then, this is Neil Rocks eighty seven. I'll see you all later.